get everybody, Trader Cobb here. Hope you're all very, very well. Um, first things first. Look, I've got some. Uh, I've got a video coming out in the next couple of days. It will be uh, about 15 minutes long. It's going to be specifically for you guys that are on the uh, free mailing list. Which, if you're not on that list, I suggest you get on it so you get this video. It shows you inside of my membership in a lot more detail the sorts of stuff that you get, uh, and I've put it together so it's a really good explanation and understanding. And there's a lot of trading. Uh, bits of gold in there too because they're actual videos for my membership that you'll get for nothing so all you have to do is go to tradercob.com it's tradercob c-o-double-b and effectively just join up to the bi-weekly video newsletter and uh, you'll get that in the coming days so I certainly suggest that you do that it's pretty important now I want to do a top 10 and get a bit of a um, uh, sentiment analysis going on right now I'll look at the top 10 because the top 10 effectively is uh, the majority of the market cap out there in crypto land and I want to have a look at how it's looking. Obviously Bitcoin is just sort of flat again, yet another day with very little movement. It'd be very interesting to see when, if we get some decent sort of movement, where that will be. We still haven't got uh, a lower low, we still haven't got a high high, so we're still sort of very, very sideways. If anything, it's just been ever so slightly grinding higher, so not a great deal going on there with Bitcoin. Ethereum, on the other hand, has actually started to get a bit of momentum. You know, we've gone from what three, or is it three sixty to four thirty? So that's a pretty decent move, and uh, it just keeps on chipping away, which is good for Ethereum. And we're in an uptrend there on the four hour. We finally cleared the high here. We're we looking for pullbacks for opportunities for potential trades, given that we are starting to get some momentum. But I'm not overly, um, you know, uh, excited about getting into Ethereum just yet. Ripple has had a good pop yesterday, as you can see there in that four hour big uh, drive to the upside. Have a look here, very strong candle and uh, looking a bit more bullish there, which is good. Bitcoin Cash uh, has been grinding away like Bitcoin, simple as that. Litecoin not doing a great deal to be absolutely fair. EOS has been one of the star performers for sure, having an absolutely amazing move and um, yeah, a, a very good trade present was presented to us uh, on against Bitcoin with that, but a good move there. More bullishness again with Cardona or Cardano, or however you want to say it. Uh, you can see here again, we've got this higher low, and now a higher high. We are technically in a weekly uptrend. This four hour is a bit extended, looking for pullbacks to see if I can get some opportunities to, uh, oops, to enter, but right now it is just about really sitting back and, uh, and waiting to see if there's any opportunities. It's just getting a bit funky right now, happy to sit back and wait. Lumen also moving, although not in an uptrend just yet, that's very strong. You can see higher low just breaking up through the high, very similar looking to Bitcoin except for it's broken up through those highs. But again, a little bit of bullishness starting to creep in there. It's had a good move as well, as you can see off of these lows, this is an old support level, a very significant and strong level. You can actually see, look, it's starting to move quite nicely from there and getting a bit of a move on. Very nice looking trend there on the four hour now looking for pullbacks in. And finally, IOTA is also starting to get a little bit of movement. It needs to clear this old resistance and support level, but it is well on its way to doing that. So across the top 10, there is definitely more short term upward momentum moves than downward. What does that mean? It just means that they're starting to see a little bit more buying activity coming back into the market as a whole. Sure, it's not happening on Bitcoin, but it is happening across many of the top 10, which I see as a positive. So guys, jump across all my socials, Facebook, uh, Twitter, YouTube, and most importantly, subscribe to tradercob.com to get the video that's coming out in the next couple of days. Have a great day. Bye.